Okay, hello everybody. Today I'm going to explain how to set out a point using bearing and distance method. So setting out is uh, about transferring information from your plan uh, to the ground. It's the reverse of surveying. In fact, in surveying, as you know, uh, that we used to collect information to do some measurements uh, on the ground and then to produce a plan or map here the setting out is uh, the reverse you have a plan like this for example and then you designed a building on your plan in the office and then you would like to transfer this plan to be built in fact the, this uh, building to be built uh, on the ground and this is what we call setting out the equipment you used for setting out uh, the same uh, that we use for surveying like tote stations, tape measure, uh, some uh, tripods, reflectors, prisms, wooden pegs, etc. So the same equipment used for surveying would be used for setting out. Now to set out a point from a station X let's say that your total station would be set up over station X uh, and your task now is to set out this point on the ground so this point guys may, may be a corner of, of a building maybe a um, center line of a road any kind of structure that uh, you would like to set out so to set out any point we need two numbers to be calculated the first one is the whole circle bearing which is an angle from the north this is the north direction an angle from the north towards the line XA in this case uh, so this is the first number to be calculated which is the whole circle bearing and also we need to calculate the distance between station X and point A which is the point to be set out So I summarize for you the uh, major uh, steps for calculating these two numbers. Uh, first, uh, we need to calculate the change in easting and the change in northing between X and A. So here we have station X and here we have station A. The change in easting delta A, which is the distance along the easting axis, like this. This is delta A. Distance from X here to A here along the easting axis this is delta A the change in easting and also we need to find delta N the change in northing which is the distance between X and A along the north axis this one so and we have uh, to, to find the signs for each one of them are they positive or negative if you look here guys we have uh, this coordinate system this is the easting axis this is the northing one so in the first quadrant here delta A and delta N would be positive both of them would be positive so because from the origin here from the location of the total station delta A will increase in this direction and delta N will increase here in this direction so both of them are positive if your point if your point to be set out is here in this quadrant so delta A would be positive and delta N positive as well if the point to be set out here in this quadrant for example you are going to set out this point in this case delta A would be positive because from here to here delta A is increasing to be positive and delta N from here to here would be negative because uh, from the origin in this direction uh, it would be negative if the point to be set out in this quadrant here guys so delta A is negative and delta N is negative as well and finally if the point to be set out in this quadrant here for example so delta A would be negative delta A would be here guys like this it's, this would be delta A for distance from here to here it would be negative because uh, in this direction along E axis it would be negative and delta N would be positive because from the origin uh, towards this uh, direction 
it would be positive this is delta n in this case okay so once we found delta a and delta n uh, now the second step is to calculate the distance between x and a this is x the location of the total station and this is a the point to be set out uh, this is the rule to calculate the distance very easy the square root of delta a squared plus delta n squared these are delta a and delta n that we have calculated in the first step so we have them ready after that we need to calculate the quadrant bearing uh, using the tangent rule the quadrant bearing using the tangent rule would be delta a to delta n and at this step it's very important to use delta a and delta n as absolute values uh, and finally we need uh, to calculate the whole circle bearing we have four cases okay depending on the location of the point to be set out so if delta e is positive and delta n is negative now uh, sorry is positive from the first step here guys we have delta e and delta n if both of them are positive so the whole circle bearing value would be exactly the same of the quadrant bearing value that we have calculated here okay so the second case if delta e is positive and delta n is negative the whole circle bearing would be 180 minus the quadrant bearing that we have calculated here the third case if delta e is negative and delta n is negative so in this quadrant in fact so the whole circle bearing would be 180 plus the quadrant bearing that we have calculated here don't forget that and finally uh, the last case if delta e is negative and delta n is positive this one this case so the whole circle bearing would be here 360 minus the quadrant bearing that we have calculated in step 3 so now these are the main uh, steps to, uh, to calculate data required to set out any point um, now let's take this example to understand the process in a better way let's say that you have this building and you need to calculate data required to set out all the corners of the building this one this one this corner this one this one and this one from station X that means your total station would be set up over X and then from here we need to calculate data required to set out each corner of these corners again data required to set out any point any corner are two numbers the whole circle bearing and the distance so distance between station X and the corner to be set out and also the whole circle bearing which is an angle from the north uh, to the line to be set out so first let's name these uh, corners by setting out uh, this grid okay here we have a grid line A line B line C line D and we have horizontally line 1 line 2 and line 3 so this corner of a building would be called A1 a from this line one from this line this one this corner is a1 this corner would be called D1 this one is D3 C3 this one this one is C2 and finally this one is A2 and we you have all the required dimensions of the building you have from station X to this edge of the building 2 meters from station X to this one to this edge of the building 4 meters and you have the rest of the dimensions are here 6 meters from here to here 6 meters from here to here and 6 meters here and 12 meters from A to C and it's required now to calculate data required to set out each corner of these six corners let's first calculate the data required to set out the corner A1 and then we will be the same process for the rest of the corners so to set out A1 
we need first to find delta E and delta N okay let's imagine this coordinate system the origin over X this is the easting this is the northing okay delta A for A1 now this is A1 here delta A is the distance from X to A1 along e, the easting axis which is 2 meters it's clear here it's 2 meters okay so now delta N it is the distance between X and A1 along the northing axis so it is from here to here which is 4 plus 6 10 meters so delta E is 2 delta N is 10 now the signs for delta E and delta N let's look at uh, the point A1 it is in this quadrant let's look here guys now A1 is in this quadrant quadrant 4 somewhere here so because of that delta E would be negative and delta N would be positive so delta E would be minus 2 and delta N would be plus 10 okay so uh, to set out corner A1 again this is A1 from X delta A is minus 2 as we have just seen and delta N is plus 10 once we have delta A and delta N what was the second step the second step from this slide we need to calculate the distance okay between these two stations the square root of delta E squared plus delta N squared and then we are going to find the quadrant bearing and then the whole circle bearing so the distance the square root of delta E squared which is 2 squared plus delta N squared 10 squared equals 10 meters 0.198 the quadrant bearing using the tangent rule 2 divided by 10 delta E divided by delta N and this is the angle 11 degrees 18 minutes and 36 seconds and finally the whole circle bearing as you know now we have four cases for the whole circle bearing and uh, it depends on the sign of delta A and delta N in this case guys if you look here delta A is negative and delta N is positive so let's go to this slide to see the case the whole circle bearing here guys if delta E is negative like this here and delta N is positive so the whole circle bearing would be 360 minus the quadrant bearing okay so it's a 360 minus the quadrant bearing which is this value that we have calculated here so the whole circle bearing of XA1 is 348 degrees 41 minutes and 24 seconds so now these are the data requ required to set out A1 from X we have calculated the distance of X A1 which is 10 meters 0.198 and we have calculated the whole circle bearing of X A1 which is an angle this angle in red from the north clockwise towards the line X A1 and it is 348 a big angle as you can see okay so now we will repeat this for each uh, uh, corner of the rest corners now to set out corner D1 okay let's uh, just uh, see uh, have a look at the uh, building again so if you look here delta A is plus 16 and delta N is plus 10 let's look at the building to set out D1 this is D1 guys here this is D1 delta A is the distance between X and D1 along E so the distance from here to here which is from here to here 6 and from here to here 10 it's 16 meters and delta N for D1 is the same of delta N for A1, A1 because they are on the uh, along the same line so as we can see here delta E 
is 16 for d1 and delta n uh, is 10 once we have delta a and delta n the distance um, the square root of delta a squared plus delta n squared and in this case the distance between x and d1 is 18 meters 0.878 the quadrant bearing is uh, the tangent uh, using the tangent rule 16 divided by 10 which is delta a divided by delta n and this is the angle 57 degrees 59 minutes and 41 seconds finally uh, the whole circle bearing of x day 1 it's in this case the same value of the host uh, of the quadrant bearing why because delta a and delta n are positive so because here guys we have delta a is positive and delta n is positive so the whole circle bearing as as you know now we have four cases we will look at the cases it's the first case if delta e is positive and delta n is positive so the whole circle bearing would be equal to the quadrant bearing so this is the quadrant bearing that we have calculated so the whole circle bearing would be equal to the, uh, to that value now we have calculated data required to set out corner d1 from x the data required are the distance between x and d1 which is 18 meters and then the whole circle bearing which is an angle from the north towards d1, uh, x d1 this is the angle the whole circle bearing okay this is the angle from the north uh, to x d1 which is 57 degrees etc in this case again we'll do the same now uh, for the uh, d3 let's look at the building this is d3 guys here this is the point d3 as we can see it is in the second quadrant here the second quadrant this is the origin first quadrant here the second quadrant here and in this quadrant delta A would be positive and delta N would be negative so delta A for D1 is the same for D3 which is uh, because they are along the same line hey, like this so delta A is in this case 6 plus 10 16 and delta N which is the distance from X to d3 from here to here this is the distance which is 2 meters and it's negative 2 meters it is 6 from here to here minus 4 this one this is 4 and this is 6 we have here 2 okay so delta e plus 16 delta n minus 2 the distance between x and d3 the square root again delta e squared plus delta n squared equals 16.125 meters the quadrant bearing the same process uh, 82 degrees 52 minutes and 30 seconds the whole circle bearing we will look at the signs of delta e and delta n okay in this case delta A is positive and delta N is negative let's have a look here delta A is positive and delta N is negative this is the case so the whole circle bearing would be equal to 180 minus the quadrant bearing so the whole circle bearing of X D3 is 180 minus the quadrant bearing that we have just calculated here okay and the value of uh, the whole circle bearing is 97 degrees 7 minutes and 30 seconds so by doing that we have calculated data required to set out corner d3 we have calculated the distance between x and d3 60 meters 0.125 uh, and then the whole circle bearing of x d3 again and again the whole circle bearing is just an angle from the north clockwise towards uh, the line xd3 
now to set out C3 now let's look at the building where is C3 this is C3 this is the point here this is C3 guys here so uh, Delta N in this case uh, in this case would be the distance from X to C3 which is minus 2 because it's in this quadrant the second quadrant and Delta E would be the distance between X and C3 distance from here to here this distance is 10 meters okay from here to here 6 and from here to here 4 it's 10 meters so now we have Delta E is 10 meters and Delta N is minus 2 okay so now once we have Delta E and Delta N the distance between X and C3 the square root of Delta E squared plus Delta N squared which is 10 meters 0.198 and then the quadrant pairing uh, would be in this case 78 degrees 41 minutes and 24 seconds and finally the whole circle bearing because Delta E is positive and Delta N is negative it would be 180 minus 7, uh, 78 41 24 which is the quadrant pairing so now we have calculated the data required to set out point C3 this is the whole circle bearing and this is the distance these are the numbers that we need now to set out uh, C2 let's have a look to see where is C2 so this is C2 here this is the point that we need to set out now so we need to calculate Delta E and Delta N Delta E is the distance from here to here okay which is 10 the same for th C3 so delta A is 10 and it's positive because it's in the first quadrant here and delta N is 4 distance from here to here which is 4 and it is positive because it's in the first quadrant like this case guys here so delta A uh, of x c2 is plus 10 delta n is plus 4 once we have them the distance the same process the square root of delta a squared plus delta n squared which is 10 meters 0 0.770 and the quadrant bearing 68 degrees 11 minutes 55 seconds and the whole circle bearing is exactly the same value of the quadrant bearing 68 11 55 because delta a is positive and delta n is positive and this is just don't forget the rules here the four cases that we have if delta A is positive and delta N is positive so the whole circle bearing would be equal to the quadrant bearing okay so now uh, we have calculated data required to set out C2 as well finally data required to set out A2 the same process we will repeat that just let's have a look at the location of C of A2 this is A2 here this is point A2 here guys this is the corner Delta A is the distance from here to here okay which is 2 meters and it is negative because it's Delta A in this quadrant would be negative just let's look here Delta A in this quadrant would be negative so and Delta N distance from here to here which is 4 meters and it is positive okay so delta A is minus 2 delta N is plus 4 the distance between X and A2 the square root of delta A squared plus delta N squared which is in this case 4 meters point 
472 the quadrant pairing is using the tangent rule it would be in this case sorry it is here it should be up okay this is the quadrant pairing value this should be here sorry for that e equals to this value uh, 26 um, degrees 33 minutes and 54 seconds so this is the quadrant pairing value and then finally the whole circle bearing in this case because delta e is negative and delta n is positive the quadrant uh, the whole circle bearing would be 360 minus quadrant bearing that we have calculated in this step here which is 26 33 54 and then the whole circle bearing would be 333 degrees 26 second uh, minutes and 6 seconds once we've done this guys now we have calculated all the data required to set out all the corners we are going to uh, to arrange a table called setting out table to put all of these results in one table and then we will get uh, uh, this table to set out um, all the corners on the ground so for to set out point one we have calculated the whole circle bearing and the distance d1 the whole circle bearing and the distance uh, d3 c3 c2 and a2 just we are going to put all the numbers that we have calculated here in one table now what is the procedure in fact to set out any corner of these corners uh, on the ground using total station for example let's say that you are uh, you are going to set out point C2 this point using your total station so what is the procedure of after we have calculated the whole circle bearing value and the distance between X and C2 we will set up the total station over station X here we will side the north direction and then zero the horizontal angle and then turn the toast station by this angle by the whole circle bearing 68 degrees 11 minutes 55 seconds and then measure this distance 10 meters 0 0.770 and then fix a big in the ground and by doing that you have set out uh, point C2 and then we will do this for each corner of the corners uh, to set out all of them so thank you very much for listening